So welcome everybody to the Love Bite Bite Battle. This will be a special battle, uh, part of our Bite Battle Extravaganza, which means we're doing some variations in the matches and we'll get into it in a little bit. Right now it's time for the countdown and uh, we're counting down to start the match, Gasman versus Pestis. And I'm Super Rogue and with me is Orby. Hello Orby. Hello Super Rogue, how are you today? I'm uh, doing well, I'm excited for this match, uh, it's going to be a special match. Uh, we have a gas man on the one side, who is uh, well, very known with, uh, with, with doing bite battles and bite jams and whatnot. And on the other end we have Pestis, who uh, well, did some great stuff in bite battles as well. And uh, like I mentioned before, we have a bit of a special match uh, that starts uh, with one keyword and then halfway the battle will have a team swap to a different keyword. So, uh, Orby, how do you feel about that? <laughs> oh, man, I am uh, really interested in seeing how this goes. Um, it's difficult enough to plan for one theme. Uh, introducing a second theme halfway through, I think, is going to really throw some wrenches at these guys. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I understand the initial theme is, uh, is, is what now? Fluffy. So fluffy. The, the okay. Fluffy. Yeah, they're starting with fluffy clouds, okay. I guess. Fluffy sheep. I, I don't know. Yeah, I, th I think there are definitely some nice colors in the Tick 80 palette for fluffy. I guess some a few uh, a few nice pastels here and there. Yeah, so, yeah. We should we should see some of that happening. I think we've got the lime green on Gasman's yeah. green already. Is is Gasman going for the for the for the for the clouds? Ah, yeah, I think so. Okay. So yeah, we're about two minutes in now, and uh, our contestants are just getting their code ready and uh, typing away. I have no idea what Pestis is up to yet, so... Uh, yeah, I'm really curious to see where this goes. Yeah. Ooh, already oh, spinning, wow. or... No, that's quick. Yeah, that's always a nice start. Yeah. And of course, this is going to be different for us uh, as commentators, as uh, both Orbi and myself have competed before on uh, on uh, bite battles. So uh, <laughs> we're kind of looking. Uh, okay, as glad no, that's not us this match. But uh, Orbi, you're actually uh, in uh, in uh, in one of our bite battles as well. Yeah, I uh, I'm in I, I am uh, yeah. so I am uh, very excited about that to to be back to that. I uh, did a did some in 2021, yeah. and uh, yeah, had a blast then. And uh, yeah, it's good to be back. Wow, best is getting something on screen really quick. This is this is insane. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's quite remarkable. Yeah, I like the rotating. At this point, I'm thinking you must be fake rotating some something like this to get get something running this quick. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I, I'm not quite familiar with uh, with what he's doing mathematically there. I, uh, mm -hmm. I don't recognize the equation. We both learned something here. Yeah, it looks like it. Is, uh, let me see, what's that S alias to? Sign, uh, probably? Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. Oh, oh yeah, it's, it's at the bottom, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's a lot of, a lot of signs. Huh. Yeah. So yeah, we, we start off with, uh, with the keyword Fluffy, and then halfway we, uh, we'll get a new uh, keyword. Uh, Havoc will shout something in our ears and then uh, we'll know what it is. And this is going to be madness. I mean, uh, I think the first bite battles that we did, we didn't have any keywords. And then for the uh, battlegrounds, we uh, we started to introduce keywords, which was a nice addition with a lot of good feedback on that. And uh, used it uh, last year at Love Bite as well. And. Uh, yeah, I think as part of the bite battle extravaganza, we were like, okay, what what can we do 
next but what are some interesting variations and uh yeah we've seen a, a few already and uh yeah this is one of them swapping the keyword halfway through the match oh this this looks great <laughs> This looks this looks beautiful, but I'm not sure that it looks fluffy. <laughs> I'm just mesmerized by it. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm also mesmerized by it. It's gorgeous. And yeah, both these contestants have had lo lots of experience, like uh, veteran coders, so they both know uh, what they are doing. Yeah. Is there like a favorite range in the Sweetie 16 palette that you like uh, particularly, Orbi? There, there, you know, I think there are some really lovely ranges. Zero through three or four, the first few bytes, the first few indices, I think are really lovely. It's, uh, it's an orange, a purple, and a red that I think fit really nicely together. Yeah. And uh, I believe Pestis is using about eight through 12 right now, yeah. which I think is also a really nice range that you get beautiful blues used out of. So, yeah, yeah I, I think it's a really well constructed palette. It also has the, the lovely property of uh, many colors. If you add eight to the color, uh, it's a 16 color palette. If you add eight mm -hmm. to many of the colors, you get a darker variation of that color, which is also mm -hmm. very easy. This is just mesmerizing. Really? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what Gasman is currently coding up. It is fluffy though. Yeah, well, yeah that's, uh, that's really interesting. Oh, is it a sheep? Is it a cloud? Yeah, I, I think it, <laughs> it's a sheep. <laughs> that's great. Oh, he says. I think he's channeling uh, the, the spirit of the buck. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, then, yeah. Then it must be a sheep for sure. That's wonderful. Yeah. The buck sitting by the sidelines, like, oh, I want to do sheep. <laughs> As well, why didn't I get fluffy? <laughs> It looks like Gas Man is well within the bite limit at the moment. Has to slightly yeah, over yeah. with 17 minutes. Yeah, they're, they're both in. Pest is uh, bugging out. This puts me in mind a little bit of uh, Cthulhu 128. That's good. It looks like a similar mm -hmm. trick. Yeah. This seems to be using the uh, FFT. So, uh, this was uh, saying it was doing fucking Stu FFT in his uh, 128 byte <laughs> match. Uh, <laughs> I know this, uh, not so much uh, effing uh, going on right here. I think, uh, <laughs> FFT and Pestis uh, just got friendly. I wonder if Gasman's going to use the FFT to make the sheep jump. Yeah. I mean... That would be a nice application. <laughs> Gasman does like a sound, but... Yeah. Let's see, they're, they're not obligated to use it, so... Uh, totally optional. Yeah. But it's nice to have it there. Yeah, I think it's all. So, what do you think of the uh, FFT feature that's now uh, available uh, for the byte battles and byte gems? I, I love it. <laughs> Actually, I love it. Yeah, uh, I think it adds the the ability to sync with the audio. It really adds a whole new dimension to uh, to the to the visuals. I think. Yeah, I've really been enjoying playing with it. Hmm. It can be sort of a risk as well, like uh, when the audio like stops or slows down, then your effect might come to a crawl. Or yeah, I think you have to plan accordingly. Um, mm -hmm. I think uh, you have to have an effect that looks pleasant 
regardless of whether or not there's any uh, audio. Um, yeah. But I think that, you know, when, when specific frequencies do crop up, mm. if you can, you know, throw a, throw a, a slight variation in, I think, uh, it looks really Yeah. I guess my sheep rocking away. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Don't see any FFT fish needs going on, but... Maybe we'll add it later. Yeah, we have plenty of time. Yeah. Bess has really plenty, well plenty of time to write a whole novel, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> so, not plenty of fight. <laughs> Yeah, I like both these effects. I mean, both are, both yeah. of them are veteran coders. So uh, yeah. This is definitely trying to hypnotize us into uh, voting for him. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, quite lovely. This is like, going for cotton yeah. candy of sorts. Yeah, yeah, I think something like that. Maybe it's psychedelic cotton candy. Psychedelic oh. cotton, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think we have Havoc telling us now that. Uh, in a minute or so, we will have a team swap. So right now we're on Fluffy and uh, we're going to Toxic. So <laughs> that's going to be a start. <laughs> All right. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Gas oh. Man's poor sheep is about to... Oh, I, I, I think we're, we're getting Toxic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Why not? This is immediately changing up colors. Oh, that's a good way to do to, to do toxic then, eh? Just go for greens more. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, yeah, and there's some some lovely green hues uh, in the in the mm. I, I believe it's four, five, six the end of of uh yeah. those two, somewhere in there. I like the quote that passes has whenever my kids want to watch demos they request Elias Electro Cat. I think it's uh, <laughs> The intro that Alia, I think, did. It uh, looks very hypnotizing. If you don't know, yeah. look it up on demo zoo or web. So yeah, I can blame uh, Pestis Kids. It's an awesome uh, intro. It is indeed. I'm curious to see where Gasman is. Uh, yeah, <laughs> taking his uh, sheep. Gasman, poor sheep. <laughs> <laughs> And how does Ellie work? Yeah. How about adding an extra radius, Gasman? Yeah. Yeah, we had some nice, uh, clever uses of the uh, ellipse functionality in uh, Tick 80 during our uh, Tiny Code Christmas, which. Uh, was great. Had a lot of uh, newcomers joining, uh, doing their first demo effects, and then then later on the joining the scene, and even some of them entering our new talent competition in uh, January. Have you uh, seen some of the entries we got there, Orbi? Uh, I have. Yes, I, I understand. Uh, Aaliyah also came in on that wave. Is that correct? Uh, I think for the, uh, for the tick. 80 coding it is uh, she already coding, yeah. yeah she okay. already was familiar with with shader coding and then uh, she right. she jumped yeah. yeah 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 it's really lovely I, I think uh there were a lot of it was nice to see a lot of fresh faces come in a lot of really interesting effects a lot of interesting takes on a lot of ideas yeah. from a lot of new people you know i think uh you know new, new blood is what what keeps things moving absolutely So yeah, 
We are inching closer to the 10 minute mark. Gasman's sheep still rocking. Best is getting chaotic. Yeah, he's rocking that FFT like a maniac, passes. <laughs> yeah. That's a that's a lot of on-screen circles. <laughs> it is. Yeah, that's something you cannot do on on, on actual old retro hardware. So this is. Where no, I don't. I don't think so. No. <laughs> Yeah, so still enough on the clock to to uh, to get into the toxic vibe. Uh, I think Tess has done a lovely job with the with the color change. Yeah, yeah, that already works wonders. Yeah, great. It almost puts me in mind toxic bubbles. Mm. Yeah, definitely, uh, best is definitely embrace the uh, FFT bit. Oh, yep. upside down sheep. <laughs> 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 oh, for a moment I thought Gasman yes, might be doing a dead sheep. <laughs> a sheep that ingested. Ah, oh, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe he is going for a dead sheep. <laughs> oh. Poor sheep. I like how Pestis is doing the alias thing at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, that's really interesting. I, I uh, an unusual way to do it. But, uh, Maybe it's because oh, well, he is within limits, so doesn't yeah. have to. Maybe it's because if you want to do the uh, tick load trick where you like pack up all your code and put it in a single oh, string. Yeah. When it's yeah, when it's at the back. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I never did that until my bite battle match and I was like one bite short and I think Exoticorn yelled from the chat like uh, yeah put it on the back and I noticed it yeah. and I was able to find the bite there. Yeah, I think it's I think it's safe. Maybe two or three. Function is a oh, long okay. word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it saves you the function and the end. So. Oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, let's hope uh, Gasman doesn't come up. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't come out over limit again. Yeah, oh, that was so heartbreaking. Ah, I think Gasman is going for something like a toxic pipe with the gases or oil spilling out. Yeah. Maybe I could be wrong, I just maybe from the colors. Maybe. Yeah, I like how there's like a progression within Gasman's effect, and uh, and yeah. then, uh, best this was maybe a bit easier for him to swap theme because uh, well the Godars do a lot and uh, also more chaotic movements. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. and I think also it was the fact that Pestis' effect was uh, uh, slightly more abstract and lent itself mm -hmm. to a, a theme yeah. swap a little. It's yeah. Pretty yeah. Effective. Yeah, but both vastly different effects and uh, yeah, both amazing. Thing. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, it will be hard to vote. Yeah, it's what you said, Orby, like, Pestis effect very abstract, and, and then Gasman just going quite literal about it, going uh, 
Well, I was going to say the Tabak way, but actually gasman has been doing that for ages. Yeah, I, yeah, I find the approaches here to be very interesting. Um, I think in both have their own technical advantages and disadvantages. It can be so difficult to do to render realistic looking objects in small amounts of space. Mm. And it can also be very difficult to render aesthetically pleasing abstract objects. Yeah. Gasman is trying to uh, optimize the code out a bit. He's, he's quite yeah. a bit over limits at the moment, so uh, he's, he's trying to crunch it down already. <laughs> it was supposed to be some toxic waste. <laughs> <All right. laughs> well, I got that, I got that. Yeah, yeah, I got that impression. It's always helped to, well, us to, 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 to give some context to the audience. Absolutely. Yeah, it's back to crunching down code. So yeah, another nice variation, uh, this team swap. I'm, I'm really liking it. Yeah, I, I think the uh, the keywords here worked out really, really well. I think that's, uh, I, don't, I don't think it could have been more challenging. <laughs> yeah. Fluffy and toxic. Yeah, the way it works with keywords, uh, we're, we're quite transparent about it with, at, uh, since, since, uh, Love Byte Battlegrounds is that uh, we have like a basket with a whole lot of keywords in them uh, that, uh, that 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 the contestants know uh, a few days in advance. So they're like maybe the twenty something keywords, and then uh, they can be they they will be put on the wheel, and they begin they can be drawn any keyword, and uh, they do literally get the keyword last minute before the match starts. So. You draw a keyword from from a, from a large list, and then off you go. Three minutes, and nearing the end. Yeah, almost there. Such a dangerous time to make modifications. Yeah, especially if you are guessing it's over limit again. Oh, yeah. Not, not, not too bad though. I'll only ten fights. I think hopefully you can squeeze yeah. it. Should be able Looks to. Like he's, he's hunting. <laughs> yeah, change those hundreds to ninety nines immediately. <laughs> yeah, I think Gasman himself is just stretching out. Is just stressing out the most about this. Uh, it's like, oh, this is not gonna happen to me again. Oh yeah. Closer. Very close. I think Pestis is trying to squeeze in something else and, st and still optimizing code, even though he's with within the limit. Yeah, I think Pestis is trying to get some text on screen last minute. Yeah. <laughs> like I have a few oh. guys left. Yeah, yeah I, th I think he's done it. He's done it. Yeah. And shout out to Totemat and uh, with uh, live code demozoo.org for uh, upcoming and past effects. And uh, anything demo scene related and live coding, it's on there, be it like shader gems, uh, shader showdown, byte battles, byte gems. You can find everything there. So after Love Byte, uh, this is where you will find all the live coding we have going on here. Yeah, I think I think our contestants are more or less done. I would be amazed if they are still tweaking around at this point, but you never know. That that would be very brave. 
Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I think Gasman is right. good within limits as well. So both Gasman are safe. got his his toxic chemical spill for his sheep. Yeah. That's excellent. That's, that's the nice thing about the Sweetie 16 pen. It's very toxic. Yeah. It's very toxic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it works for toxic. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I just yeah that lime green is is very toxic. That's yeah. that's the classic <laughs> toxic waste green. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're done here. So uh, yeah, go right. for, vote for your favorite. Vote for Gasman. Vote for Pestis. Vote for whoever. Uh, this has been a great match. Uh, anything you want to add, Kirby? Well, uh, yeah, thanks a lot to uh, Gasman and Pestis, and thank you, Super Rose. Yeah. So uh, enjoy the rest of the Love Bite, and uh, we'll see you again. Bye bye. Bye.